so welcome guys welcome to this part of this video and in this video we'll be installing um, laravel permission now we actually get to build this page right here which we hold uh, which will help us to manage our permissions and uh, the next thing we need to do right now is actually install the laravel permission so if you get go over to slightest laravel permission I'll be leaving uh, a link to this page in the description for the in the video, so uh, so you can get over here and follow the steps on how to install Laravel permission. So the first thing you need to do is actually run this command. Uh, if you remember at the beginning of this um, this video, this series, I showed you how you can install Composer. So you have to use Composer to install the Laravel permission, just copy this code and paste it in your terminal. I've already installed Laravel permission and uh, I'm just showing you guys how you can install it. So if you install this, uh, you, have to, you have to take note of the version you're installing. Uh, presently, Laravel, uh, Laravel permission is in I think they are in version three of it, which doesn't work with uh, which doesn't work with uh, I think Laravel 5.8. It works with Laravel 6. It works with Laravel 7, and it definitely works with Laravel 8. So you have to take note of the versions you install it if they are compatible, and uh, if you have any problem to this, just Google your problem, and I think I'm sure you'll find solution to it. So, um, so installing in Laravel, what you need to do is copy this I've showed you earlier. After that, um, this step number four is actually optional. If you're using Laravel version less than version 5.8, so you need to actually do this right here. Since we're using a version greater than Laravel 5.8, I don't think um this is optional so the ne next thing we need to do is actually run this command and what this is going to do is going to uh, publish the migration file and the config file so if you copy that and come to your terminal and actually paste this so this is going to uh this is going to publish the migration and the config uh, configuration file in their perspective for it. So um, if you've done that successfully, you can just come over to your co config folder and you find permissions and this is it right here. This is the namespace for each of it. Uh, yeah. So the next thing you can check is the migration. We have the migration right here. So this is just going to uh, create some table in our database. Um, we don't actually need to change anything here. Just close it. I'm just showing you what it's going to look like. So the next thing you need to do is actually run the migration. So PHP artisan migrate to create those uh, table in the database. So PHP artisan migrate. And what this is actually going to do is create those, um, create the permission and rules table. So this is just going to create some few files, and it has done that. And if we go over to our database and check now, so we have some couple of new tables in our database, and uh, I can see model as permissions, model as rules, and see the rules table. I see rules as permission and I see the permissions table. So this has created, I think, uh, five new table for us in the database, in our database. And uh, we're actually going to be working with this, uh, working with these tables. So um, let's get started. I want to start with the permission table first because uh, the rules, some certain rules 
can have a permission and a user can belong to a role. That means if a user is belonging to a role that has a permission, that means the user is in is uh is going to have those permission that belongs to the role automatically. So um, let's get started. It might not make sense to you now, but when we start doing it, uh, it's going to make much sense. So uh, I'm just going to clear all this. Now I'm going to create a new controller. And this, I'll call it permission controller. And this is going to be a resource controller. In my, in my early videos, I, I explain what a resource controller is. So if you don't know what it is, I think you need to go back and watch the video. So um, let's go back to our route page and add that controller. And this will be permission. Permission. So um, that's it. And we actually need to go to our admin blade file. Now our admin blade file, we need to link the file and I'll call this routes. And the name is already there. So permission dot in this now what this is just going to bring the permission and uh if we should refresh this page right here loading let's just wait for that to load um let's refresh again yeah so um you have permissions and if I should click that, yeah. So right now it doesn't do it doesn't do anything because we've not actually written um we've not actually written anything in the controller. So if you should go to permission controller and this the index, this is where we're going to write um write um decoding and if you don't understand this please go read more on resource uh, controller and api controllers i think if you should go back to laravel documentation you'll find those there so if we should dd let's just echo okay and see what's going to happen if we should refresh I just give it time you see okay so that means we are on the right track and the first thing I want to do here I want to create a constructor because I want I want this uh, permission controller to only be accessible to an authenticated user hopefully that makes sense to you but before we not do anything let's go back to our model and define something right here. So in this model, we're going to we're going to define some basic things. And the next thing we need to do is actually use the uh, implement the permission in our user model so that the user model can inherit uh, all those models and uh, all those methods and functions so what we actually need to do to implement them is to actually use them and we can do that with spiders permission and this will be traits as rules so we need to actually now use it here so uh use as rules so what we're actually trying to tell it tell the user model to do here is actually uh, let it know that the user has rules so hopefully that makes sense to you and uh, if it doesn't let's just go on and read more about it so um, 
now over here in our permission we still need to use uh splices right here and we actually use going to use the model and this will be permission so hopefully this makes sense to you too so um what we actually need to do right here i told you i need to create a constructor and the constructor is just going to be doing something simple So the constructor is going to have some argument. I'm going to pass the permission class and I'll give it a variable of permission. And what this is actually now going to do is I'm going to uh, refer it to this permission. Let's go to dollar sign permission. So uh, hopefully this makes sense to you and now. Uh, I'm going to use the authentication. Now say this middleware out. So hopefully this makes sense. And this what this is actually going to do is any user that is not authenticated, this will not be able to use this this uh, controller. So hopefully this makes sense. Um, what we actually need to do is write our um, variable. So permissions, permissions. Now we are we want to get our permissions and display them in the uh, permission uh, in this page. So I'll just call this permission. Mission and I'll call uh, a method and I'll say all. So this will get all permissions and uh, I can just did the dollar sign permission. So what this is actually going to do is it's going to bring out all those permissions because we don't have any permissions stored. Uh, we're still going to get an empty result so if you we should check it now we're going to get an empty result and um, if we actually refresh this page loading so we get an empty array and this is actually good um, so the next thing we need to do is um, the next thing we need to do is return a view with uh, the permissions with all permissions now so we're going to say return view and we're returning permissions we're going to be creating this view right now permission dot index and we say uh, we return array of data we say permissions we equal to dollar sign permissions. So hopefully this makes sense to you. Dollar sign permissions. So um, that's all we need to do for this index method. And right now we need to create the uh, index view. So if we should come over to our resource folder and we create a new folder here named permission. Remember, we return, uh, we return it right here. So permission, and I'll create that folder and come to uh, home. Now save as. I'll call this index. Now save this inside. And so, to actually test this out, to actually test this out, let's just say um, permissions, permissions, and save that. So if we should refresh, loading, yeah. So we have the permissions right here. And now, um, what I just want to do is I want to bring out a table. 
I want to create actually create a table right here. I don't need this container. I want the table to be wide. And uh, if we should go over to the admin light, admin light and documentation. We should go back to the other documentation and just view some examples right here. And let's go back to table simple tables. So I want to use a simple table and I want it to be responsive. So I'll use this table right here. So what we actually need to do is copy this table. We need to copy this table. Copy out HTML and paste it right here. Um, we need to get some things right here. And now I'm going to remove. Let's actually preview this and see how it is loading. Yeah, so I want a table like this with the permission info. So what I need to do is start editing this table. Now call this um, permission table. And right here, right here, I don't want a search box. What I want is a button. I actually want a button instead of a search box. Now call it uh, create new permission. So I need a button right here. Uh, actually, it's going to be a link ref, and I'll say this will be a route. Remember, we are using a resource controller, so route permission. Permission dot create so that and now uh, this we have a class of btn btn I want it to be primary and let's just close that and say create new permission um yeah so if we should refresh yeah you can see that button right here now the next thing I want to do is I want to have a permission name uh, let's just say ID I want to have a name and I want to have uh, uh, let me just call it uh, action I want to have a date date posted so these are the infos i want now i'm i am actually going to tidy this up you know me i love to tidy up my codes so i actually need one info one of these So if we should preview this now. Yeah. So this is what I want and uh don't want this. Yeah, so this is what I want and uh for now I can't I can't actually uh, display the permission uh the permission that I got from the database because Right now, in the database, there is the permissions. Uh, the table is empty, and uh, we we need to create permission before we can actually display this permission. So uh, I'll be seeing you in the next video. In the next video, we'll be creating permission. And, uh, yeah, see you guys.